abusia for me din de alberta me ye online digital marketer and a me sanso so a ye mentor so we nyan se sa ye wo ejuma ye mo na se de be ya wo benya time e wo fie dia eni me tun sa fro se be kai online digital marketer se ho ye be set to up with all the necessary tools and training am a business na i successful one on one mentoring and coaching plus the step by step video based thing ye be set to business na app am am successfully adi tun bia enim ye be plug you into our automation system no inty what the no business na run ne en fa ho ni uni pesu a wo ye en fa ho so ni adwuma wo ye obi a betimi a ye e wo nya se se obi nya advancement in technology enemre mu a enema nyina eko online no ye adwuma ye mu so ye betimi a se sane de ahota ba me nua fa me website no Go and watch the pre-recorded videos for free. After me phone number ne was you bet me a friend in church money baby a ke bia me time dia ma me da mwase. Football is a big business everywhere on this planet. Whenever I travel outside, I see a lot of Ghanaian youth trying to involve themselves in football. Uh I have one of the best scouts and agent here in Ghana. I mean he he's he's from outside. He just came to Ghana and I decided to get him for us to have a conversation on how things are done out there and how he can also help Ghanaians. He's a very big man when it comes to football scouting and agents around the world. He's worked for a lot of big clubs outside there in Europe. My name is Zion Felix. If you go on Instagram, you can follow me at zionfelix.com. On Twitter, only I'm called Zion Felix. On Facebook, Zion Felix Independent News. I have Sebastian. Here with me, his other name. I'm sure he's going to pronounce it for me because if I try, I'll just kill it. What is the other name? Sebastian Arneson. Sebastian Arneson. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to Ghana. Thank you very much. How is Ghana treating you? They are fantastic. Mm. I've been uh, coming here for 14 years now. Really? Uh, mainly in, in West Africa. Okay. But uh, but uh, mainly in Ghana. I love it here. Uh, is, is this the first time in Ghana? No, I've been here. I think 10 times already. Really? And I love coming back. I love the the culture. Uh, of course, I come here for the players, yeah. and for me, this is the country yeah. where I uh, where I uh, love to be and love to find the best players. Wow! Yeah. How do you see Ghana? Ghana as as a country, yeah, or a country. yeah, uh, it's 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 it's. Um, if I look at yeah, they speak English, yeah. so it's uh, I I don't speak French, so I love to come to the English countries in West Africa. Uh, I like the people; they are very open, they are social, uh, reliable. Um, uh, in, in my work, I have to find the, the, the best partners who I can trust, and I, I have a few partners here where I have a great relationship, and I love coming back. So yeah, it's it's, it's been great, and 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 uh, the food I even like, well, the yeah, the, the the rice and the chicken and everything, oh, really? I, I I love it, wow. and uh, everybody is polite. So yeah, I, I feel I feel very very uh, very welcome here always. Okay, so before we zoom into our conversation, I mean, who are some of the Ghanaian players that you've worked with, or you've helped in their careers? So, 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 uh, so mainly I always focus on, on, on the elite players. So it, it's, it's from uh, Burkina Faso, it's from Ghana, it's from Ivory Coast, it's from everywhere. Um, the Ghanaian players, of course, Felix, who scored the two goals yesterday for us, Roma. Yes, yeah. So this is, is, this is impressive for him, but uh, we, we found He's him. He's one of your boys. Yeah, with one of the partners uh, we work with. So yeah, last year or just before the COVID, we went on a small tournament and uh, and yeah of course after 10 minutes or five minutes we were like who is this boy and uh, yeah the, has the rest is history he plays for as roma first team now yeah so um uh, yeah we 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 uh, this is my part the my son we have uh, uh who are the other ones we have uh, was godfin uh, uh, donza okay. also from here then we have uh, mohammed aminu he went uh, from ghana to manchester city okay. so there are a few and now there's yeah, I can't say it now, but uh, we have uh, one who's coming also from Ghana, national team, and he's coming in January to Europe. Oh. And he's, he's going to be representing Ghana big time. Now, Felix, Felix has been making all the headlines about since he scored that goal for uh, Mourinho's side. I yeah, mean, as well, yeah, yeah, amazing. And Mourinho says he's going to buy his, his, his sneaker for him, eat and eat for him, because mm. of what he has done for him. So let's look at who Sebastian is. I mean, tell us something small about Sebastian. So I'm uh, Sebastian Arneson. Yes. My uh, my parents are from Denmark, okay. from Copenhagen. Uh, so I'm I have a Danish nationality, but my father was a football player. Okay. So when he moved to play for Spain, Valencia, I was born. Okay. 
and then he moved to uh, to Belgium to play and Eindhoven PSV and that's in Holland and I stayed in Holland mm -hmm. so I live in Holland and from there I fly all over the world I have two beautiful daughters Olivia and Julia and uh, that's me okay so I'm um, being born into a football family uh, is that why you are into this kind of business yes you, you know wh when you, when your father is a football player um, and and working in football the only thing what is on television at home is football at the dinner we speak about football so this is this is always been my passion and something I love to do so it was very logical that I would also go in uh, and work in the football and when my father was the sporting director in Chelsea okay. he gave me a chance and which year? Uh, ooh, which year? that is 14 years ago 14? 14? 14, 14. Yeah, 1-4 14. One 1-4 four. One four. Okay. So, so I started as a scout and, uh, and uh, yeah I worked there for 6 years and then uh, I made the step into football okay. and uh, that's probably the only thing we can do in our family is football means Mike Lacey was there because Mike Lacey went to Chelsea like 2005. Who? Mike Lacey. He was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Didier Doba, Mike Lacey, John Terry. Yeah, all of uh, them. Lampard, yeah. uh, Drogba, Kalou, yeah. uh, everybody was there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Ace was under your father then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. wow. And yeah. that is when you started your career? That's where I started. So yeah. you worked with ACN and the Gobers at that time? Yeah, they were playing in the first team mm -hmm. and I was a scout. So I was, of course, discovering the new talents, the new players. For the team? For the team, for Chelsea. Uh, how many years for Chelsea? Six years. I worked as an international scout for, for Chelsea. Okay. Then I went one year to Hamburg, big club in Germany. Mm -hmm. And then after, after one year, I went to Manchester City. And I worked there for eight and a half years wow. as a scout. So long time I've been in the, in the world of scouting. Mm -hmm. And then one and a half years, I decided to, uh, to, um, to stop scouting and become a football agent. Mm -hmm. So and, and I'm very happy with that step. And, uh, and for me, it's the step because I can, if I work for one club as a scout, I can only bring the talent I see to the club. But sometimes there's not enough space for, for the talent or, 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 you know. But if I now work as an agent, I can follow a lot of talents and bring them to different clubs yeah. so I can help more players. So let's look at six years for Chelsea Football Club, a year for Hamburg in Germany, yeah. and then eight years for Man City. Um, how was the work? I mean, let's look at the English side and then the Dutch side. How was it? Yeah, the English side is big. The Premier League is, is, is massive. Not only, not only, uh, the whole world is watching the Premier League. Yeah. So it, th there's more money uh, involved. You uh, have more money now. You know, yeah. You, <laughs> <have more money. laughs> it, you know, when, when you, you when you watch a player okay. and you love him, mm -hmm. and you work for a club like Manchester City or Chelsea, who's backing you up, it's easier to get the player to say yes, of course. Yeah. But if you work for a club like Hamburg who at that period didn't have a lot of money, you have to be creative, you know, you have to, 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 to do other things to get the player. Yeah. And, and uh, so it's uh, interesting, but it was, yeah, working for those two clubs, I'm humble and I'm very happy that I uh, had the chance to work for them. And so a great le period. Let's look at some of the top players that you've worked with for the past years that you started scouting and then you moved to be an agent. Yeah, so, so in the time of Chelsea, I, I, I scouted, uh, you know, I don't want, uh, as a scout, it was me, for my feeling, that I see one player for the first time. And then I scout him, and then, but it's a group decision always. It's not about me, it's about the group. Uh, but players like Lukaku, okay. I scouted when he was 14 years, very young, in Anderlecht, Belgium. And later he went to Chelsea. Uh, Courtois, the goalkeeper, who's now in Real Madrid. Um, Bertrand Traoré, who came from uh, Burkina Faso to Chelsea. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, so so quite big names, yeah. but also uh, names that maybe you don't know, but they are famous inside yeah. Europe, and uh, yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, uh, it's good. Congrats. Yeah, thank Congrats. you. Congrats. <laughs> Happy so with let's it. look at football in Africa. I mean, you you've you've seen everything out there in Europe. Yeah. Uh, and I was you've, you've been coming to Ghana. You've, go, you've been going to other parts of the African continent. How do you see football on, on our continent? Yeah, I, 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 I focus on West Africa. And especially if I talk about uh, Ghanaian football, I would say if I compare it to the football in Europe, and I, I, I look at the players who are 17, 18 years old, of course they mainly have a stronger physical here. They play with energy, but they play with more heart, with more passion. You know, they, sometimes you see a player and it, it's like, it's, it's life or death. They give everything. And, 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 but then I think sometimes tactically, the understanding of football, they are a little bit behind. In Europe, they, they don't have the desire, but sometimes they have a uh, better understanding. 
about the football game. So here, I think when you uh, when you find a player here who has and the great physique and the technique, the heart, but also has understand a little bit about football, uh, how to walk, how to position yourself. Of course, they have to come to Europe and they will all learn much more. But if you can get the player from here, I think it's, it's, it's amazing. And you have a special, special player, but you can't find in Europe. Okay. So looking at the qualities that you, you're giving to some of our players, I mean, if somebody possesses some of these qualities mm -hmm. and you think he or she is a good player, how do they get through to you for you to help them in their, in their career? Yeah, so, so, so uh, I'm, I'm now uh, working one and a half years, two years with my partner Marcel, and uh, uh, we cannot be everywhere, of course. So this, this is difficult. So we have our own partners who we, who we trust, who we have a good relationship with. We go to watch their academies. Um, like now we have a tournament coming up tomorrow and the next day, and, and we will see a lot of games. This morning we saw games. So we just find time to see the players. Also international games, of course, on the 16, on the 17, on the 18, on the 19, we watch the players. But I have experienced that not the best players are always in the national team. They are at the academies, yeah. been hiding away. So I have to go there and, and, and watch them. Okay. And then, yeah, then, then it, 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 it's, 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 uh, it's uh, there where I find the players. So when you come to Ghana, most of the scouting are done at the academy level. Yes. Is that, that what I mean? Yeah, the, aca yeah. the academies, they have their own scouts. Mm -hmm. They bring the best players. And then w when they know I come, they organize games for me. And I, I watch the games. Okay. And, and I pick the best players out. We follow them. And when they are 18 years old, they are allowed to come to Europe. And then, uh, then hopefully we can, we can uh, find a great club for them and, and, and work and help them on a great future. There's this thing which has been going on in football. I don't know whether it is only in our part of the world or it's everywhere, where you see a very muscular man, you, judging from the face, the person might be like 45 years or 40 years, but you see the person playing for under 18. They call something football age. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how do you see football age? Is it normal everywhere or is it just in our part of the world? Uh, to be honest, in, in Europe, this, this doesn't happen. This can't happen because it's, 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 it's very good organized, you know? Everybody lives uh, you have when you are born you have to register your son or your daughter after yeah. three weeks uh, I know here it's sometimes difficult because of <laughs> the, the the travel of the mothers and fathers it's, it's difficult yeah. so uh, yeah I only experience that sometimes here in, in, in West Africa or maybe uh, in all Africa I don't know but uh, mainly where I come is West Africa and uh, yes yeah, so sometimes I, I see it but it doesn't happen in, in, in in Europe, but I've also heard that the, the same happens in, uh, in, in countries in South Africa, mm. or uh, South America, yeah. you know, so yeah, this is part of, uh, part of, <laughs> part of, uh, yeah. And how do you think, I mean, we can, we can eradicate this thing and then make sure that our footballers use their real ages for either under 20, under 18, under 19, under 20, 17? Yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, you have to change the mentality because a lot of teams, they want to win. So then, then, then they don't look at the right age. Eh? Maybe a coach would also say, oh, he's not the right age, but he's strong. He will win the game for me. Uh, I also work with academies here who only look at the right age, only want the players when they are young. And you can also see they are very young, but they lose every game because they are playing against much stronger players. But they don't care. It's about the development. So uh, I think they have to change the, the, the mentality and, and the philosophy and just go for the right age and also for the boys because the sooner they are 18 the sooner they can come to Europe so if a, a, a player a parent a, a guy from the academy thinks it's it's clever to make them younger it takes longer while for them to come to Europe so 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 it's also not logical for me but yeah it happens and and, and uh, sometimes I think it's sad for the boy because I see a boy say oh wow I think you are maybe one or two years older. It's your time now to come to Europe, but he's, he's too young, yeah. so yeah. So I'm here with Sebastian, who appears to be an agent. He used to be uh, a scout, but now he's graduated and he's an agent. We are talking about football. My name still remains Zion Felix. Now, um, let me ask this. When you, when you watch European football, I've never been to a stadium in Europe. I've been traveling to Europe, but I've never been in there. I invite you. Thank <laughs> you, I'll come. Um, if you watch it on TV, it's so nice. You see a stadium packed with uh, audience. Even when the club 
it's, it's about going to a location. Yeah. You see still the stadium full. If you go to Serie A, if you go to the Premier League, if you go to uh, Spanish La Liga, it is beautiful. Uh, France, beautiful. But when it comes to our part of the world, Ghana, other African countries, if it is not the two top teams playing, you don't find half of the stadium full. If it's, if it's not the national team playing, or if it's not the African Cup, you don't see a full stadium. What do you think your part of the world is doing right and we are not doing right to get our games entertaining for the audience to go to the stadium? Oh, it is difficult to say. I, I believe if you have a stadium in the middle of Accra, it will be packed. But I've been to places in, 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 in at clubs in Ghana who are far, far away drive and, 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 and the uh, small villages around and for people who even love the club to travel all the way there, it's difficult for the people. So, so I think it's, uh, the countries here are much bigger. In, 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 in Europe, the countries are smaller, it's more packed, uh, uh, easier to travel. So I think it's, it's part to do with that as well. But yeah, it's of course uh, great for everybody, for the sports, for the club when, uh, and for the players when there are a lot of people in the stadium. But yeah, it's, 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 it's difficult with the uh, uh, transportation, I think. Uh, so in uh, African football as a whole, what do you think we can do to also develop and then become like what is out there in the Western world? Oh, I, th I think I think the uh, I, see, I see a lot of coaches now really also working like the style in Europe. So uh, uh, not only kicking long balls, playing four three three, playing from the back, uh, well organized. So I think they are really, really, really improving for, and it's not only now; it's happening for a while, and 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 that's why I like to come in because it's 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 uh, it's really going like this. This I really I really uh, think they are doing it well. So yeah. we have you have Sebastian as a scout, and you have Sebastian as an agent. What is your biggest transfer after you became an agent? I would say the most interesting player is uh, Nasser Jaga. He's from uh, Burkina Faso, went to Benin for a tournament under 20. I think it was one year, one and a half years ago. And I saw him, uh, or we saw him, and after five minutes, is a central defender, great physique, but two-footed, played short, played long, uh, quick. He had everything. I thought, wow, what a player. And now we transferred him to FC Basel, only 18 years, playing first-team football. And this is, this is uh, yeah. For, for everybody who's involved is, is, is amazing. And I think he will become a very, very big player. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, um, Sebastian is in Ghana. Um, what I come to do for Ghanaians and how do we come to your, your event so that you can also become the next biggest player outside there? Uh, how, how they could contact me? I mean, what, what, I, come to come to, uh, what I come to do in Ghana yeah. and how do you participate so that you can scout us, maybe I'm a footballer, I'll come there see me in six months like I'm yeah norm normally i go y you know i i the players i want are have to be elite elite players okay. don't have to be national team players but they have to be elite so really really top quality mm -hmm. uh, so i work with the partners i go to the, the their ac academies and watch them and now with the uh, uh, dbg i have the tournament coming up tomorrow and and the, uh, the day after tomorrow and i think if we start this we can organize bigger tournaments yeah. and then uh, uh, Daniel can, uh, can for example filter the best players speak those players and and then make a bigger tournament more teams so I can see more players and and more players have a chance okay. so, so after yeah. this yes event when or after this month's event when I coming back to Ghana to also recruit your scout defenses oh I think I think the planning is to come for sure three times a year here yeah. And I think in February we will be back again. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the transfer window is from 1 January to the end of uh, January, and then straight away we will be back again. Oh, okay. And how many players are we looking at um, this time? Oh, uh, so in the last three days, I already saw two players who, who would be interesting, uh, who I would be interesting to bring to Europe. And uh, there's one more player coming in January. So, so yeah, th there are a few players who I think in January will make the step to Europe already. So let's look at the process. I mean, after you've spotted a player, what do you go through before? I mean, the player is sticking outside. Yeah, of course. You, you. It's, it's. Uh, I want to know all the information about the player. So not only on the pitch, but also outside of the pitch. So, so. Uh, you have to find out uh, who is the family, uh, do they maybe already have an agent, speak with the academy, 
Uh, I want to know the personality of the boy. Uh, does he have a good character? How does he, is he behaving outside the pitch? And if I have all this information, then of course uh, we set up a meeting with the boy and, 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 and the people around him. And then I have a good picture of, of, of the player and this situation. Then we go back to Europe and we find out, okay, what type of player is he? Which competition, which club suits him best? Is he like a big, strong, physical player? Okay, maybe Germany. Is he like a small, technical player? Maybe Spain. And then we find out which club uh, needs that position, and we start start inviting that scout to Ghana, or maybe arranging a trial from from the, the the player to the club in Europe, and then we take it from there. And then after after the trial, uh, if he does good, we wait until he's 18 years, and then uh, then uh, we, we we make the transfer. Some people do complain that when we take some people from other parts of uh, where we are to Europe, I mean, they tend to run away. Have you ever encountered such a such a problem? No, no. You you mean you mean when when uh, when let's say you've taken a player from Ghana yeah. to Europe, I mean to play for a certain team. The person gets there, look at the environment, part, he or she runs away without your notice. I mean, you never see the person again. I have never never had that before. Luckily, um, no. So so no. The, the the players I have worked with and and came on trial, they also have good people uh, uh, around them and uh, trustful and. Uh, will organize so no we we make sure he, he comes and 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 uh, everything has been very good until now so no i have never encountered that before and has any player that you've helped in the past been unappreciative of your good works towards him no so, so some players can maybe uh and and it's also sad for the boy uh, not not uh, w when you are young you are a big talent and you think you will reach the top but but you, yeah, you, you, you deal with other things. You deal with your mentality. Maybe you get uh, homesick, different food, and, and the expectation what everybody has, but also himself of, of his future will not be there, but maybe there. And then he's not upset w with me. He's not upset w maybe with himself more. But yeah, th this happens in football. Not everybody has the luck and, and, and will reach the top. But uh, no, everybody is, uh, I'm, I'm with all the boys I had and have, I'm on a very good relationship, and I think it has to be like this because for me it's not business. For me, it's uh, yeah, you will be part of the family. He, they will be part of mine. I will be part of them, and we hope not for short term but long term. So yeah, this is this. Uh, I have a great relationship with all the boys. Is being an agent a, 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 a good business? Uh, being an agent? Yeah. Uh, I would say uh, yes, if you have the if you have the right players, but but it's it's. Yeah, it's, 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 it's more than the business side. You, you do so much back. Uh, also, when I come to, 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 for example, Ghana, and you come back to the academy, back to the players, you help the player, you help the, you help the family, you help, help everybody around. It's, it's, it's you're doing so much back, and, and no, this is, it's, it's, it's more than, than business for me, much more. Okay. Before I came to Ghana, I mean, I publicized your family, and most of the... Uh, Request I was getting is your contact. How can I contact you? I mean, I, I think I have so many players following me that I never had an idea about. My brother is a footballer. Yeah. I want to contact you. How do people contact Sebastian? Yeah, no, I, I get the same. So it's so difficult because um, uh, I get the question. Oh, look at my younger brother. I have a nephew, but but yeah, how how can I? It's it's so difficult. So I feel sad that I can't I can't help them or can't even watch them. So now tomorrow th there are four teams. But uh, my dream is to have uh, 20 teams with all top players, you know, but, but it's, it's, it's just not possible. So we have to find maybe uh, a, a, a solution for uh, that they can send the videos into somebody here, one of my partners, uh, and they can filter the player and say maybe, okay, ooh, this is an interesting one. For the next tournament, we invite you and, 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 and they can play in the teams and I can watch them. So I think uh, something That's like that, idea. yeah. That's a good idea. Thank you very much, Sebastian. Thank you. Final words to Ghanaians and everybody. I would say uh, thank you for having me again. I will be back, 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 back for many, many years to come. And I hope uh, we will, uh, we will uh, find some great Ghanaian players and they will represent Ghana in Europe, what they have done for always. And uh, uh, yeah, once again, thank you for having me and uh, I will be back. You're yeah, welcome. He's Sebastian, a football agent. He used to be a scout, now graduated to be an agent. He's in Ghana to scout players to help their careers. My name is Ali Felix. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.